afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, got another travel trailer by you, going to review. Had storms and rain all morning, so I figured, hey, I'd come out here and do a travel trailer for why it's still cool. Because I, uh, obviously I can't run this with AC, so uh, why not take advantage of it? So got a 2015 Cherokee Gray Wolf Limited. This is the 29BH, and guys, this is a pretty neat little camper. Uh, it is 33 feet long, including the tongue. It's got a slide out. It is a bunkhouse model family camper and a really good shape notice it's a little bit lower profile than some of these other ones only weighs six thousand pounds so this is something that's more in line uh an easier tow for most half ton trucks guys of course there's no such thing as a universal half ton camper you know every half ton truck can tow a different amount of weight so as always you know it's your responsibility as an rv shopper and as an rv buyer to know what your truck can tow a dealer's not going to know so i'll put a link in the video description below to our free interactive tow guide so you can look that up but this one dry weight is six thousand pounds you're going to add you know a few hundred pounds to it in cargo water food luggage propane things like that but 33 feet long it's got two bedrooms it's got an indoor outdoor kitchen and uh, let's look around it guys it does have a power tongue jack 30 amp electrical service i am running it off my generator um good looking camper inside and out only thing i gotta do is the uh, somebody's robbed the fridge out of the outdoor kitchen i'm going to put a small electric refrigerator in it for you i'll order that when i get back in so that's one thing you don't have to worry about um but really nice got outdoor shower black tank flush got the stabilizer jacks of course being a cherokee limited you get some pretty nice features like this and this is really a cool thing this rack on the back which you can tow it with this rack down if you want to uh, this rack is ideal for firewood if you want to carry a generator if you're going boondock camping it's ideal for bicycles coolers pretty much whatever you want to put on it I'm not going to try to squeeze through there, so we're going to go around the other side. And being the limited package, it does have a power awning with LED light strip um, and more. A six gallon DSI water heater. And um, not a bad camper for 21.9, guys. Travel trailers are very hot right now. This is a very more affordable way to go camping and um, definitely a really cool way to do it. Got a cooktop, two burner cooktop, got a sink. It will have a refrigerator. Hopefully I can get one. Uh, I'll definitely put one in there for you so you don't have to worry about that. And Pretty neat. Alloy wheels. Let's look inside. Got some outside speakers. Got a mount in case you want to put a TV outside. 29BH. Little tight through here. We got these things packed in pretty tight. And as we step inside, I wish it could stay this temperature year round. It is nice out right now. Got some really nice bright LED lighting in here that somebody, I think somebody's upgraded. Got a 13,500 BTU ducted roof area, which we do guarantee to work as well as the, we do, uh, you know, at this 21.9 price, we do we, what we call a major systems inspection. We guarantee plumbing systems to work, which includes water heater, uh, water pump. We make sure all your, there's no plumbing leaks. We'll make sure your faucets, spigots, things like that work like they're supposed to. Uh, we make sure your slide out works like it's supposed to. We make sure your air conditioner and refrigerator freezer all gets operating temp. And of course, everything else we leave as is. Um, got the TV on it. Uh, somebody's put you a really nice uh, Roku TV in here. So I just made my phone a hotspot and just turned it on something random there. So... Um, that's just running off Verizon service, and I only got one bar of service, so that shows you how easy it is to to run a smart TV off your cell phone. 
and um, front queen bed, overhead storage. You've got closets on each side. And you can see this is the original lighting that it had in it. They didn't change. This is the only light they didn't change in here. The rest of them they changed out with these really bright LEDs. And then you'd also have sliding closet doors on each side for privacy. You've got a sleeper sofa. You've got a table booth that makes a bed. You've got a six cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer. This will run off of propane or electric. Haven't had it on long enough to really get cold yet, but we do guarantee it to work. So I can't really tell you, yeah, it works right now or no, it doesn't. Being a 15 and as nice as this camper is, yes, more than likely it works, but we will uh, guarantee it to work when we do our checkout. Uh, three burner stove top, you've got an oven plus your two burner stove top on the outside. Big single basin sink. Microwave. Yep, just a regular microwave. Stereo comes on and everything. Rear bunkhouse. Now, this is one thing interesting. I've seen this on several bunkhouses like this. A lot of people just need the two bunks. So what they will do is remove the third bunk and use that for storage. Uh, use it, maybe put a desk down there for kids. If you know if you need a desk or whatever you need to use it for, guys. I'm going to sell it like this. Um, if you need that third bunk, guys, go to a hardware store. Get you half a sheet of plywood. Uh, a, 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 a probably a single two by would probably do it put your bunk back the extra mattress is right here so i mean it probably won't take you an hour and a half <laughs> to to put the bunk back if you if you have a use for it so that's no big deal uh very very easy to do probably won't even cost you 80 dollars in material to put it back but you know, we are going to put you a new fridge out there too, so don't worry about that. Fridge is going to cost a lot more to put in for us in the bunk. So, uh, place for a TV if you wanted to add one back here, that's up to you. Uh, got a little, you know, ladder right here, some extra storage. Bathroom. The medic toilet looks like a plastic. Yep, now they upgraded to porcelain. Cool. Uh, Tub, shower, skylight, uh, upgrade vent fan, a lot of bright lighting in here. And if this, if this lighting is too bright for you guys, you can cut it down to one at night. But I'd rather have too bright than not bright enough. And um, pretty neat camper, guys, for $21.9. I like the fact that, hey, it's 6,000 pounds. Actually, like 5,995. I mean, it's right at 6,000 pounds. So, you know, great for the family. You've got indoor, you know, the outdoor kitchen is really handy if you like to cook outside and don't want to smell the camper up or heat the camper up. Uh, or if you like, you know, want to cook something like fish or something like that. So it's great for that. Um, or, you know, I mean, I don't know about y'all. I love cooking outside. I, in fact, my current motor home doesn't even, and, and I've got a weird motor home, guys. For me, especially since I, I love to cook when I camp, doesn't even have an indoor kitchen. <laughs> I mean, it's got a fridge and a microwave convection oven, but that's it. We do our cooking outside. I, that's why I like it now. I mean, it's just a shoot. That's why I love it, man. Enjoy nature. Of course, I'm more of an outdoorsy type than an indoor type anyway. And there's nothing wrong with that, or nothing wrong with being more of an in. You know, a lot of people are more of an indoor camper type than an outdoor type. Everybody's got their own version of RVing. That's what makes this hobby and lifestyle so great. Is that everybody's got their own version of it. 
nobody's right nobody's wrong until you get into it and and do it you don't know what your personal style of RVing really is and uh, you know hey, as long as everybody's having fun that's what matters guys um, you know a lot of people they like to spend time and, and you know I've been camping before and seen people pull up in million dollar buses and never come out of their RV except in the evenings to go get something to eat the whole time we camp and I've seen people pull up in a pop-up and, and, and never even hard to go in their RV. They're outside the whole trip. I mean, hey, everybody's got their own version of it. And again, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. That's what I love about camping. I like getting out and enjoying nature and hiking and fishing. And, you know, I do metal detecting. And, heck, I like uh, getting out and exploring the area and... You know, especially if it's a place I hadn't been before. I mean, I love doing stuff like that. So, anyway, uh, this unit is twenty one nine, haggle free firm, and like I said, for that low price, we will guarantee the major systems to work: the plumbing systems, the water heater, uh, water pump. We'll make sure there's no plumbing leaks. Make sure all your faucets and spigots work. We'll make sure refrigerator, freezer gets to operating tent, brew fair work, slide outs work. Everything else is sold as is, so you need to do one of two things or both. You need to either come down beforehand and inspect the unit for yourself. We'll move it where we can uh, plug it up to shore power or we will hook it to a bigger generator that can run everything. This little generator I use for my video, it's quiet, so that's why I use it, but it's not strong enough to run the AC. Um, but it run everything else. Um, but we'll hook it up to one of our shop generators and that way you can run everything on it or hire a third party inspection service guys a few hundred dollars you'll know everything about it what's right what's wrong and uh, before you buy it i mean you wouldn't buy a home without a home inspection so why buy an rv without an rv inspection guys i'm probably the only dealer on the internet that always recommends a third party inspection on any used or even a brand. I recommend it on a brand new RV purchase. So definitely, and you can always Google, if you're not from this area, you can always Google uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee area, RV inspectors, big long list of them. A lot of people are getting into that now, just make some extra income. And that's like anything else in life. There's, there's good ones and bad ones. I and mean, you can look up reviews and all that stuff too. So, um, but a uh, really cool resource to have. Anyway, however you want to do it, or you don't have to do neither, it's up to you, it's free country, but 21.9, we do guarantee those major systems to work. You know, part of being an RV owner is there's always stuff behind the scenes you got to do. I mean, there's always going to be a little thing here to fix, a little thing there to fix. Uh, you know, that's just part of owning an RV, whether it's new, used, whether it's a motor home, a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, doesn't matter what you spend on it, doesn't matter the brand, doesn't matter really anything, guys, that's just part of being an RV owner. You either got to work on it yourself a little bit or pay to have somebody work on it. I mean, there's no sense sugarcoating the truth. That's just, that's just like owning a boat, a houseboat or, or, or a cruiser or a yacht or something like that. Same concept. It's just, instead of being on the water, you're on land. And instead of being, you know, several hundred thousand dollars, it's twenty one nine. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the same idea. Anyway, um, if you got questions about this uh, travel trailer, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Call before coming to look to make sure it is available. Thank y'all so much for watching. I just, hey, it was, you know, we had this rain this morning. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on a travel trailer before it got too hot. Um, I don't need air. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I've actually got another motorhome I want to film. And maybe another trailer or two. I'm not sure yet. Just depends on what the day and the weather does. We'll supposed to have some more storms moving in. So hopefully I get another one or two shot today. If not, I will try to do some more tomorrow. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Best way to support my channel. Absolutely free to you. Hit that subscribe and that bell notification button. RVs with Big Bow. And keep in mind, guys, this price is $21.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. We're not rip-off world. 
we're not these corporate greedy corporate RV dealerships that will sell you a camper for twenty one nine, but by the time you pull off the lot, you pay thirty five grand for it. By the time you pay all the fees and all the upsells, we don't have any of that, guys. You know, it's more than just the price anymore. Um, with when you buy campers now, like cars, I mean, it's all about how much money they can make on extended warranties, gap insurance. You know, tire and wheel packages and roadside assistance and all the campground packages and all this stuff. That stuff's not worth paper it's written on. It's all marked up four times dealer cost. Say no to all that stuff. That's how the dealerships make the money now. They'll sell you something for twenty grand, but they'll charge the time you to buy that camper for twenty one nine, you, you gotta spend another ten, fifteen thousand dollars on BS stuff that not worth the paper it's written on. Um, believe me, I see it every day. So here at Parkway RV Center, easy, simple, and done is what we do. 21.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Easy, simple, done. Doesn't get any simpler than that. No surprises, no games, no gimmicks, no upsells. Um, you know, we have financing available with approved credit if you need delivery service. Uh, we offer it for $2 a loaded mile one way. We don't charge both ways. We just charge you to bring it to you. We don't charge for the return trip. That's half price what other dealers charge you, or less than half price. Um, and we take trade-ins. Give us a call if you're interested. We're family-owned and operated since 1968. We're a mom-and-pop independent store. Not like these big corporate dealers that spend millions and millions of dollars a year in advertising, which, by the way, is just a cost they simply pass on to everybody that buys campers from them in the form of higher prices, more fees, more upsell that's why they have to make so much more money to cover all that extra overhead they spend you know they don't pay for those multi-million dollar showrooms in three four hundred locations nationwide and uh millions of dollars in advertising and sponsoring sporting events and stadiums named after them and all that stuff they don't pay for any of that stuff that you do when you buy campers and rvs and stuff from them by paying higher prices you never get a good deal at a big, you never get a low price at a big dealer. Yeah, they may advertise a good price, but when you, like I said, when you, before you leave, that's not your out the door price. Which I promise you, that price will be 10, 12, 15 grand higher by the time you leave there than what they advertise it for. That's how they make their money. Uh, like if they, like if you saw Rip Off World had the same camper for twenty one nine, you're not going to walk in there with a cashier's check for twenty one nine and leave with that camper. No. <laughs> no way <laughs> there's going to be fees and fees and fees and fees and even if you took sales tax out of the equation there's going to be oh you got to buy for that price you got to buy a four-year extended warranty and gap insurance and and this 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 and this yeah that's how they get you guys anyway trust me I've worked for them before. I know exactly how they operate, and and I've got salespeople here that work for them. And I get and I hear it almost daily from customers because there's one about ten miles up the road from us that go up there, that watch my videos. And thanks to my videos, you know how they operate. You know what to look for. You know it's a scam, and they go up there and they see it for themselves, and they just get in their car, leave, come right here, save the money. I mean, it's, and, and you know, that's one thing I can get out of this. Hey, even if you don't buy an RV from us, hey, that's cool. At least you're not getting ripped off. And if you don't go to a place, you know, even if you don't buy from us, try to find an independent mom and pop dealer that doesn't do what these big dealers do with the fees and the upsells and buy from them, guys. I mean, we're a dying breed. And the day that we're gone, which hopefully is not for a very, very long time. I feel sorry for the RV business. I think it's just really going to suck for anybody wanting to buy RVs because it's it's basically going to come down to you're going to buy a 21.9 camper and you're going to spend 10 to 15 grand in upsells and fees on top of that. Or you don't buy one at all. And that's what's going to come down to. So, um, you know. Help support the mom and pop dealers like us. Like I said, I'd rather you buy one from us, but if you don't, guys, at least try to stay stay away from those corporate uh, greedy dealerships. Um, you're going to save money, thousands and thousands of dollars overall over the whole experience, not just on the price, but on the fees and on the financing too. They actually mark the interest rate up over what the bank approves you for, 
and gets to keep majority of that profit. That's how the big chunk of income for them. So anyway, nothing they do is without profit involved. They don't do anything for cost or out of the goodness of their heart. If they offer you financing, that's because they're getting you approved at a lower rate. The bank's letting them mark the rate up and keep about 80% of that profit from that marked up interest rate, costing you hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the life of an RV loan and higher RV payments. Again, that's how they make their money. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, come out and visit with us. Got a huge selection of used campers. And let somebody else take the depreciation hit. Thanks again and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.